And now let's talk about the most basic selector, which is going to be over here type selector. So as you can see over here, I still have my headings, right? Heading one, heading two, and two paragraphs. And if I go to my main CSS over here, if I would want to target the actual element, right? Over here, whether it's going to be a paragraph or heading two or heading one, the only thing that I need to write is actually type, right? So over here, I write over here H1. And again, I'm going to write the property that we should be already familiar with, right? This is going to be background color. And as you can see, the nice thing about brackets is as you're typing over here your properties, they actually give you right away values, right? So over here, if I type F, right, this is going to be all the properties that are actually associated with F. And if I type B, right, so the similar thing that we had in HTML, where it was giving us the tag, tag names, the bracket is actually giving us all the properties. And the same is going to be for the values. So if I go over here and say background, and I'm going to say, let's say background color, you can see right away brackets what, what it gives us, right? It gives us all the possible names. Now, these are not all the colors, right? These are name colors, and further on, we're going to learn about hex colors and RGBA colors. But just for the sake of it, right, we don't need to remember, right? We don't need to remember any red, blue, or whatever. We can actually go over here and just search for them, right? So let's say we're going to use this aqua over here, right? So what happens, what we have over here is we're targeting heading one, right? What we could do is obviously write heading two, right? Or we can make a separate rule for it, right? So again, let's do this. Let's just copy this guy over here and let's create it for heading two. And I'm going to be for now using this background color property for two reasons. Uh, first of all, because it's actually uh, lets us to see much better, right? If I would be using the other property, sometimes like font size, it's maybe it's harder for you to see. But over here, you can see that it's actually right away I'm targeting this element, right? And also for another reason, let's not skip ahead, right? Let's work first with the selectors and then let's go to the properties and values. Let's kind of do everything one by one, right? So here I'm going to, again, I'm going to go back over here. And if you remember with the brackets, if we just press control space bar, right? If we delete and if we lose these uh, quick hints, right, you can get them back, right? Just press Control and Spacebar. So here, let's say that we're going to go with the crimson, right? So this is going to be our red color, right? And again, you can see the basic syntax, how it works, right? Whatever element I want to uh, target, right, all I do is write the type over here, and it's the same as HTML element, right? So if I go, go back over here, and if I'd say paragraph, right, and again, I'm going to do the background color right and i'm going to say yellow you can see that it's targeting the paragraph yellow now what you can also see right away that if i have two of these elements that are the same right so paragraphs are exactly the same in this case right it is targeting both of them right so if i'm going to go over here and if i'm, I'm going to grab the third one right so let's say over here i'm just going to grab the third one you can see it's right away going to get the same thing because what i'm saying is that i'm targeting all of them all the paragraphs right now later on we're going to look at how to specifically target let's say paragraph number one in this case or paragraph number two but from now on you can see that in general right if i'm targeting one element right by the type i'm pretty much targeting all of them now what we can also do is actually combine them right let's say that we all of them wanted to be aqua this first one right now there's few ways how we can do it but one of the ways is we can just group them together so if I go right over here, and the syntax would be I need to place a comma, right? And then I need to write a second selector, right? So if I say heading two, right? Again, if I want a paragraph, again, I'm going to place a comma and place a paragraph. So you starting to get an idea, right? I can group them together as many as I want, right? If I would want to group all of the elements this way, I could have done it. It wouldn't make much sense, but it is possible for me. And while we're still on the basic selectors, I just want to show you two selectors that are, you'll be targeting pretty much in every style sheet, right? And the first one is going to be selecting all over here like this. So this selects all the elements, all the elements that you have, like none of the elements pretty much cannot hide from this, right? And this is used mostly. And again, we're going to skip a little bit ahead, but... There's called something called padding and margin, right? And what we usually do for the document, and again, I'm going to go over these properties, don't worry, right? Just for now, just, just follow me, right? So here, if I write padding, 
and I'm gonna say margin zero right you can see what happens the text moved and again I'm gonna go over what these properties means but this is gonna be very very uh, useful for you because you're gonna be using it a lot right because then you're gonna be in charge of everything you don't have anything preset from the document and another thing is the body this is another selector right and what we're doing is let's say over here again we're gonna go with the background color and we're gonna say yellow and where I'm getting the body from you go back over here see this tag so now we're targeting the body it's as simple as that right because it's the same tag as heading one there's no difference and you can see over here that this is going to be my background right so for the whole body doesn't matter how many paragraphs I add over here right so I can just start copying pasting like crazy over here right still everything is going to be yellow because I'm sitting over here in this uh, body right so I'm just gonna get rid of them I don't need them that many right I just went a little bit overboard but you understand that idea these would be basic right type selectors where we're actually targeting the element by just writing its tag name